CSA Z8000 is a new standard released in the fall of 2011, uh, specifically targeting Canadian healthcare facilities. It's a planning, designing, constructing, and somewhat operations standard for hospitals and other healthcare facilities across the country. Um, it starts in the very early planning stages and gets more and more detailed right through to the design and the operations of the building. The idea behind the standard was to create a common language to be used in all jurisdictions in Canada uh, for the planning and the designing folks to find their way through the very complex maze of uh, developing healthcare facilities. There were several factors that actually drove the need for Z8000, the most significant of which probably boils down to the investment that we've got in uh, healthcare facilities across the country. A number of provinces are investing very heavily. There are hundreds of millions of dollars being spent across the country in healthcare facilities. We wanted to develop a common understanding, a common process, and common language to be used across the country so that we can help to uh, standardize the approach for healthcare delivery, uh, healthcare uh, construction standard across the country. And lastly, I think the public has become very aware of some of the challenges facing the healthcare industry, such things as news items with healthcare facility acquired infections and those types of things that we feel this standard can address effectively in the marketplace. The Z8000 standard actually covers many different topic areas. It's based on five primary principles. The first is being operations, being able to make the facilities function and operate and get the things to the folks who need them. Accessibility is the second of the principles. The idea here is that everybody who needs services, whether that's a, a patient who needs to have care or a caregiver who needs to have access to equipment, have the access that they need to be able to do the things they need to do in the healthcare world. The third of the principles is safety and security. We need to ensure that our healthcare facilities are safe, that people can come in and receive the care that they need without worrying about their physical safety or the safety of anything they brought with them. The fourth principle being infection prevention and control. We've all seen in the news some of the issues around uh, infectious diseases that are spread in healthcare facilities. So there are many details within the standard dealing specifically with that topic. Finally, the last of the principles is sustainability or ensuring that the healthcare facility is not only environmentally conscious, but able to flex and function uh, effectively in changing environments such as disaster management uh, or even new modalities of healthcare delivery that we don't even know about yet today. There are really three uh, key audiences for Z8000, starting first with the ministries or departments of health. These are the folks who are responsible for the delivery of health services in each province and territory. This document will help to form the foundation for them to have the discussions about all of the issues they want to have addressed in their new healthcare facilities. The second key audience would be the design community. Uh, and these are the folks who will be responsible for dealing with all of those specific issues that are in there uh, and actually getting the facility to the point where it can be built. The third would be the planning folks who are working for the hospitals themselves or the folks in the health authorities. Uh, and it will be a great document for them to be able to reference and ensure that they've met all of the appropriate key relationships and sizing requirements and interdepartmental relationships that are so important to have an effective and functioning healthcare facility. The biggest benefactor for the Z8000 standard will likely be those folks who don't even know the Z8000 standard exists. Patients who come through the front doors of the hospitals expect that the healthcare facility is there to provide them a safe and effective environment in which to receive their care. Z8000 will be the document that helps us get there.